Hello, my name is Christoph Reichert. I'm with CBR Technology out of California, and today I wanted to uh, spend some time talking about QuickBooks Enterprise 2015 and the advanced inventory functionalities as they are typically used in a distribution wholesale environment. Um, to start, uh, start with, uh, in addition to the regular um, inventory setup that you have in QuickBooks Standard Product. In QuickBooks Enterprise uh, 2015 with Advanced Inventory, you'll find additional options as they refer to an inventory site list. So in this inventory site list, you have the ability to create multiple warehouses, including the ability to have bins that are allocated to a particular site. Uh, this is a sample company, and in here I've created a site A, B, C. And as you can see here, um, you can define not just a description of the site, but also a um, contact and phone number and so forth, address, physical site address for each uh, site. Uh, in, in compliance with QuickBooks standards, you also have activity status codes for active and inactive sites as your company changes locations over time. You can simply inactivate sites as you move, um, you know, in different geographic areas. What's important to note here is a lot of people that we talk to uh, don't realize that they actually can uh, take advantage of multiple warehouses, even though they only have a physical single warehouse. Um, and these logical warehouses, as we call them, would include warehouses like RMA, customer RMAs, um, or you know, quality control type uh, locations where uh, as a customer returns product, you are putting product back into an RMA site, which could be our site B in this example here. And then once the product has been uh, quality control checked and repackaged or other things have happened to the product, you can simply inventory transfer from that site back to your main warehouse uh, for inventory uh, sell-through. Um, and that way, the RMA items do not pollute your available inventory in your primary inventory site. Um, uh, certainly, you can see here I've created some sample bins as well. So if you look in here, you can see that bin AA is actually part of the site A location. And uh, as you move inventory around uh, physical bins within the warehouse, you can do bin management within uh, QuickBooks Enterprise as well. So that's one of the setups that you can do. In addition to the uh, standard inventory uh, setup in uh, QuickBooks Enterprise Advanced Inventory, you also have the ability to um, configure it for FIFO cost, first in, first out. Standard QuickBooks product only provides for uh, average moving uh, in the Pro Premier and Enterprise Silver editions. Uh, but once you move to Platinum at the Advanced Inventory, you actually can also handle um, FIFO. Now, in addition to the standard screen that you're well familiar with, which if you already know QuickBooks, you can also see uh, advanced inventory features that have to do with inventory site information here. So you can see all your inventory sites and what kind of inventory you have available in each site and in each bin in my sample company here which is quite nice. And furthermore, you can have reorder points that are either global, uh, as you can see on the primary item maintenance screen here, or you can set reorder points and min-max points on uh, individual sites as well. Again, uh, very mission-critical functionality in a multi-warehouse environment. Uh, finally, if you do have lot or serial number tracking activated, uh, you can uh, certainly set this up on, a, on this item here as well. And I'll talk about that in a little bit uh, down the road. Um, then in addition to um, the company setup here, uh, you have the regular customer center that you know about. And one of the recommendations we do for distribution wholesale clients is to use the QuickBooks job functionality to separate individual stores uh, within each uh, customer. So in this case, I've set up a couple of national retailers like Target, Costco, and, and so forth with different store IDs, and you could simply uh, see the standard QuickBooks job functionality being utilized to separate activity and business on a store-by-store -store and a corporate-wide uh, level as well. That then allows you to record payments either on a store-by-store -store basis or a payment from the corporate account as a whole, which you can then activate, you know, link to the payment to multiple invoices across all these stores in this case. Um, now, as you deploy this solution, uh, you will see that doing sales order processing, uh, you have the ability to pick the stores from the standard dropdown. So in this case, I'm doing a sales order for 
this particular Costco store here. And uh, as I go through this process and identify an item that I'm selling, uh, I can go through my finished product here, for example, and in the site ID, now this is because I've advanced inventory, you have an additional column called site, which you can drop down and see your sites. Uh, notice that it does not list the bin in this column, it only lists the site, so in this case I'm doing site A, and then you can specify which bin within the site if you use multiple bins, that's an optional functionality which you do not have to use. And you can then find this icon next to your uh, order quantity. If I click on that, I have full visibility into quantities available that you used to uh, from QuickBooks that show your quantity on hand, sales orders, and reserve for assemblies with a complete uh, quantity available column. But it's uh, able to handle that on a site-by-site -site basis. When it comes to showing the detail, uh, you can still break out sales orders on a site-by-site -site basis and get the various information that is relevant uh, for you to properly allocate the items that are being sold uh, or ordered by a customer here. Um, and that's how you would track an order and you would simply put in quantities as usual, but again, you have a lot more flexibility in here as well. Um, this also is, happens to be configured with a, um, a unit of measure pack here where you can convert from, for example, selling this product in a three pack versus a 12 pack and you can do multi-conversions and unit of measure conversions for QuickBooks Enterprise as well. Um, if you did have a lot number here, you could specify the lots for that are available to, to reserve or allocate this particular lot to this item, or you can, you know, postpone that process until you to the invoice step of the system. Uh, everything else pretty standard QuickBooks other than that, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about other functionality here. So let me get out of the, um, out of the sales order. Uh, when it comes to reporting in the advanced inventory module, you'll find some additional options here now, which are critical. Um, one is, for example, transaction list by lot number. Um, again, that's for um, this particular company has been configured for lot number versus serial number. If you were in a business where serial number tracking was more relevant, you could certainly reconfigure the system to do that. Um, so in this case, you, have, you see a whole uh, number of additional reports surrounding the advanced inventory functionality. Uh, lot numbers in stock, so this is your regular stock status, or lot numbers by stock by site, so that combines lot number functionality with multi-warehouse capabilities. And then certainly um, kind of a mission critical extension to the warehouse is a valuation summary by site. So this gives you the ability to um, separate warehouse value in each site. And as you might know, some, some folks use multi-warehousing also uh, to track consignment inventory that they have sitting at some of their customers. So some of our clients we work with have inventory of theirs sitting at a customer warehouse, a customer uh, retail location, and as they are being s selling through the product, um, they are actually billing out of those warehouses. And, and by utilizing this inventory valuation summary report, they can s at any time uh, determine exactly how much inventory is left at those uh, consignment warehouses as well. Uh, and then, um, you, again, you see a number of new options that you didn't see before. Again, one of them here would be FIFO cost lot history by item. Uh, so that's another option that is part of the advanced inventory module. So in summary, the advanced inventory module gives you a number of functionalities, um, starting with multiple warehouses, as you can see here in the inventory site list. You also have FIFO versus average moving. You can now uh, set up the system to track serial numbers versus lot numbers, and that's critical to differentiate the two. And some of our clients have um, de expressed desire to mix and match them. Unfortunately, in QuickBooks Enterprise 2015, you're limited to choosing one or the other for the system overall. So you have to choose which one is applicable. Certainly, you can have items that do not track lot numbers or serial numbers, but you cannot mix and match them, meaning that you cannot have some items that have serial numbers and other items that have lot numbers. You'll have to choose which one you like to use for the entire system. And then finally, um, there's a new feature in advanced inventory as well, which is uh, relating to barcoding. So in addition to the regular item number field and the manufacturing part number field that you see in the standard QuickBooks product, the advanced inventory number gives you a tertiary field, which is your barcode number. And that would allow you to track a UPC code 
um, that would relate to this item as well. And when you do any transaction in QuickBooks, so that could be sales orders, invoices, anything along those lines, uh, you can use a barcode scanner and a barcode um, scan tag that's attached to the product to actually record the transaction. And uh, that, in a nutshell, is the advanced inventory functionality as it applies to QuickBooks um, and how we typically make sure we deploy the solution in the distribution wholesale industries that we work with. Thank you for your time.